Jubilation and adoration as Thailand's king celebrated 60 years on the throne in 2006. No one can dispute the genuine reverence many Thais feel for their now ailing sovereign, but some feel protection of the monarchy has gone too far. Chirinok is the editor of a Thai news website and fell foul of strict legislation against Les Majesty or insulting the monarchy. Not for anything she wrote, but for failing to remove reader comments swiftly enough. Currently on bail, she believes she faces a possible 70 years in prison. I believe that I haven't done anything wrong. This law is fundamentally in conflict with freedom of speech and freedom of expression. All it takes is one complaint and the police are duty-bound to investigate a Les Majesty allegation. And people are actively encouraged to inform on others. Tatarit is one of 40 volunteer cyber scouts recently trained up by the Ministry of Justice. They scour social networking sites to try to root out anyone who might be insulting the monarchy. I think freedom of speech should have limitations. When people say something about the institution for fun, it's wrong. So they should be made to work, sweat and spend time doing useful things for the country to think about what they've done. But for many, Thailand is blatantly disregarding freedom of speech. Reporters Without Borders recently downgraded Thailand to 153rd in the world for press freedom below Russia and the Democratic Republic of Congo. And there's been a sharp rise in Les Majeste cases from fewer than 10 in 2004 to more than 160 in 2009. Critics say the government is simply using the law as a political tool, particularly against the opposition red shirt movement as Thailand heads towards an election. This Les Majeste law has actually been used to further divide Thai society as opposed to, to reconcile it and again to paint one side, the red side, as being the anti-monarchical side with a very sort of blunt uh, characterization in an attempt I think to, to discredit other things that the red side may, may have to say that could eventually win them votes. The government denies any political interference and says it's down to the courts to decide on Les Majesty cases. One thing's for sure, the monarchy is one topic which won't feature in any open election debate. The risks are just too high.